Hello friends, this is Simone. Thanks for joining me today for my very last video for the Shimmers Education team. I had an amazing year, um, but it's time to move on and so I decided to create this amazing layout for you. Um, well, in hon honestly, it's a total disaster. So I picked a cut file, which is this tree cut file that I found on the Paper Issues shop website. They have lots of free cut files um, and I often just go there and find something that I can use. So my idea was to use these um, trees kind silhouettes but also the cutouts and I cut them out of this green cardstock. I did not use any gesso or anything. I just thought that I was going to use several green colors from Shimmers um, I have colorings, I have some shimmers, I have some... <laughs> you will see, <laughs> I'm just looking through. So these are two colorings that I'm going to use, or actually three. I have a spritz, golden leaf clover, something, and then I'm pulling out these, now I don't remember their name. Um, the ones where you have to add water, I need to look it up and I'll put all the paints that I used in the description box below. So you can, if you want to, if you like a color, you can go ahead to the shimmer store and get that over there. Did you know that when you enter my name um, on checkout, um, that you can receive a free gift from them? So I'm dipping my paintbrush into the paint and I decided that I was, well, actually I didn't really know what I was going to do. I thought I was going to just um, drip some paint on there. Then I used this to just dip the tree in it. I, I wanted to create some, well, texture because this green cardstock is so flat. And so my idea was to create some texture on this with the color so that it doesn't look as flat as it does now. Um, and that's a really nice way to add color and shimmer and to make things look more interesting. I First I dipped, then I sprayed. I was going to also use splatters, but somehow sometimes the paint just didn't come off the brush. And I didn't splatter just downwards. I also splattered upwards and my kids came home from school because this layout took me hours because, well, yeah, I wasn't happy with how it turned out. And the only thing I'm using are these trees, but I actually, I made a background as well and I worked it all in, but it just didn't look right. And so I started over again, but I was so involved into this whole splattering and painting and dipping that actually I had green splatters all over my face and when my son came home from school and I opened the door he was like mom what do you look like did you know you had green paint in your face yeah that's me the mixed media artist Simone splattering paint not only onto the cardstock but also onto her face and now you can see what I mean by adding texture. These trees looked okay. They were just trees in the beginning, but now with all the color, all the greens splattered on top, they just look a little bit more interesting. <clears throat> so I put them away. I dried them. I tried to wait for a while until they dried by themselves because as you could see, they were really the cardstock without gesso. Um, the color and water just soaks right in and then um, it's actually really uh, flimsy and tender also. So you really need to be careful that you don't rip your stuff apart. And then I start my layering and constructing the layers and using stuff. I had received the crepe paper, is it Marion Bright ephemera pack? 
um, in a Coco Daisy classified kit and I thought that it would really look nice with these photos. They are uh, family photos that we took at the mall. My sister was here last year and it had this really, the colors were green trees in the background and then there was this huge um, red metal joy that we all sat in front of, but it just didn't. I wanted to make Christmas cards using these photos, but none of the ones where we looked nice looked right. And I, we were just too tiny um, in front of the joy. And without the joy, we, did, we didn't have any zoomed in photos. My sister zoomed in when we were doing our stupid um, weird faces. And so um, I decided to <laughs> Um, use these photos just for this layout and I liked the Christmas colors or the not well there are traditional Christmas colors in the ephemera pack and traditional icons like this nutcracker um, but there is also different shades of these colors and it was it looked really really nice and so in lots of these ephemera pieces are huge and I, I don't have a use for them and so instead of using pattern a lot of pattern paper as you can see I just used uh, the big die cut pieces that I I liked part of like the color or the golden um, outline or frame of it that I used on the on the layout and for layering behind my photos but I didn't really care for the images that were on top of them. Now I'm trying to um, well not assemble but to place the photos next to each other so that I like it and this is I'm doing this um, because my idea was I prepped a cardstock and I used um, also some mixed media on the background um, and I wanted to do kind of a horizontal design with the two photos in the middle or kind of in the middle maybe a little bit off center and then trees lining the photos to the right and to the left and so these ephemera I'm, I'm using the pattern paper that I used as a layer behind my photos just to see how how wide 12 inches are and how far I can build the photo cluster with the embellishments so that I still have room for the trees. And now you can see this is what the finished layout looked like. Um, layering these embellishments just did not, or the trees that I created just did not work. And so I'm pulling it all apart. And the Coco Daisy kits came with this um, paper that I really liked but didn't really know how to use but it just, it was laying around there and I took my photo cluster off and I was really amazed at how it looked on top of this, um, on top of this paper. And so what I'm doing now is I'm looking at it, I'm just placing the things that I pulled off the old layout lightly and just looking if this is what if this is how I want it to, well, if this is where I want to go or if I'm just going to trash it all or what I'm going to do. And then I consult my friend Susanna and tell her, look at this complete layout disaster. And she, well, I took a photo and asked her and she suggested to turn the paper around. So she was, she said, yes, you are right. The other one was a nice idea, but that's not you at all. Um, go with this layout. And so instead of having this really green background and all of those trees scattered behind my photos, um, I'm just using three of the tr green trees. And I'm splattering some gold, um, what is it called? I think it's Glorious Days, um, 
and then I'm calling the layout done. <laughs> so yeah, um, let me tell you why the background didn't work. Maybe that is something that helps you in the future as well. The, the thing that I had in my head, the visualization of this layout was um, different trees layered on top of each other and maybe I should have used a lot of more dimension to do that or different sizes. It just didn't look right. Um, and here is the paper turned. It looks a lot better. I don't know why I didn't think of this. But yeah, so the branches or twigs that were printed on the page that are on the top left corner kind of um, anchor the or ground the whole um, design of my spread. And then it has this diagonal flow, even though it is kind of a horizontal design. But by the way, I am um, pulling down the journaling that is going to be underneath the title, which is Merry Christmas. Um, I get this diagonal from the top left to the bottom right. Um, it, it's just more me, I guess. I, I have been using less and less things, not cluttering my backgrounds and layouts um, that much lately. And if you've been watching my channel, you know that I have been very minimal in my project life. So maybe that's just um, my ever-evolving style. Um, not that much color. And that's also a good, good way why I shouldn't continue on shimmers. I absolutely loved being on the team. It challenged me a lot. I learned many things and I'm very, very grateful to Stacy and Sammy for giving me the chance and having me on their team. Um, I loved, loved using all the colors and the products. And if I ever need to go back and stock up on paint, I will definitely choose shimmers over any other products. So I'm not leaving because I'm not behind um, the product line. It's just that um, I need to not have that much many commitments in my life at the moment. Yeah, that is it. Um, I'm adding gold. I had added gold splatters and I'm adding enamel dots just to have some gold on this spread because the title is this gold glitter and I thought we needed more. Now the only thing that is left and I know that some people just don't like when you're cutting off your branding strip at the end is cutting off my branding strip and that is the layout. I hope you enjoy watching me and <laughs> me struggle. I'm very happy that I did not stop um, and told myself that that was all I could do. Um, here is a close-up at the trees. They are still, they look fabulous and as you can see the glitter in the trees is more of a has more of a silvery tint that doesn't mean that you cannot add gold to the layout thank you so much for watching thank you so much for the time that you took out of your day um, and thanks for supporting me i really appreciate each and every comment and like and yeah i will see you next time somewhere on youtube until then bye